Sam Todd just doing a few last minute solo practices. You can see in the back there, good support is Mick Todd. Of course, Sam's father, the owner of Pontefract Squash Club there. There's quite a few uh, other people from Pontefract that have come down from for the weekend. Not just uh, Sam Todd from Ponty playing this, this weekend, a few other players as well. So lots of support. You can see the uh, few of the England squash coaching team there at the back. Lee Drew, David Campion, Tanya Bailey, Josh Taylor. Sam Todd, uh, an exceptional Boys time. Boys under 15, final match between Sam Todd from England to serve. Neil Jussi from India to receive the five games. Lovell. So Sam Todd starting us off uh, in this boys under 15 semi. That's a pretty and decent start. One love. Had a massive growth spurt in the last year or so. Sam Todd is six foot two now. I think he's grown about eight inches in the last year. He's uh, just getting used to his, his new physique. Only dropped one game so and far in this tournament, one Sam Todd. And that was in the semi finals. Neil Josh is uh, represents Two India's one. only finalist, so a, a big moment for them. Yeah, in his last two matches he's had um, were both five setters, so he's gonna he's gonna be feeling it a little bit today. I mean, obviously he's young, and the adrenaline should kick in being in the final here as a uh, five to eight seed. Sam Todd looks right at home here, doesn't he? Settled into his game straight away. Certainly does. Yes, left. Three one. Yeah, he's been doing well. He's just he's been feeling it a little bit recently, physically, partly to do with the growth spurt. And, I mean, he wins a lot of matches, and uh, squash is a a brutal sport. Rock. Still only 14 speed. years of age, he's doing exceptionally well. He's just starting to learn about the uh, ice baths and the physio side of things. He's got a uh, wonderful now delay in his swing, Sam Todd. He had plenty of time there. He forced the uh, back wall boast. Lovely execution. I think more than almost any other player here this week, whenever Sam's playing a shot, you never know which corner he's putting it to. He's always given himself at least two, if not three or four different options. All to do with the preparation. Preparation and also um, early reading of, the, of what his opponent's doing. I think he just anticipation. But also the shot that he's played previously is usually of high quality, so he, he limits your options. That's a great shot. Josh is settling ball. in nicely as well. Lots of rallies won to winners here so far. Yeah, I've been impressed with Josh. Obviously, uh, fantastic fighting spirit. Spirit coming through two five setters. Um, five four. It's just going to take a little while to see how he how he deals with that, uh, he's going to feel it in the legs. Might need a few longer rallies for that to happen. Rattling yeah, off the points. Yeah, it's been pretty short so far. Yeah, that's an easy stroke. He likes to play the ball, now Sam Todd. But, uh, <laughs> got to take your stroke in that situation. Good work from Joshi. And out 
Well, we've had our first English winner already today in Jonah Bryant, and uh, this is the second chance of the day with Sam Todd. 7-5. Already won his first British Junior Open a couple of years ago in the uh, under 13s at Abu Dale. Out. And out 6 7. Interesting to see if the, the rallies extend a little bit more now we're getting towards the business end of the game. A wicked bows on the backhand side. Good pick up from Sam Todd. Seven all. Interesting there, Joshy taking his space on the tee. Yeah, just a little bit too him. much, I thought. Just bumped into Todd and just knocked him off balance. Yeah, it's a little uh, over exaggerated. Down. And now eight Poor error there. Seven. Yeah, just wasn't even close. Didn't even get down to it, did he? He was uh, quite upright on that uh, attempt to drop shot. It's a long way down from up there, Park, isn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't know. No, me neither. <laughs> That's a beautiful finish. That was uh, very, very clinical there from Sam Todd. He really committed to that one, unlike the, uh, the previous back end drop shot. That was clever. Up. Nice to see him play that as well, isn't it? And yeah, I thought he was going to ask eight. actually, and he just uh, took it from his sort of from his shoelaces. Really, great timing. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Nine eight. Right side. So two game balls here in the first for Joshi. Sam Todd can be a little bit slow starting sometimes. And I feel that is uh, the case a little bit in this first game. But Joshi did play well to give him credit. So the first game to Neil Joshi of India, 11-8 in seven minutes. He leads by one game to love. seconds. Well, I mentioned, Steve, that we have uh, most of uh, England squash coaches Sat behind the court watching one game Sam level. Todd, but it was Lee Beachel, former world number one, that actually was advising him there in between the first and the second. There's Mick Todd, Sam's father, on door duty. Be a good doorman, actually, and wouldn't he? One love. Todd. Certainly wouldn't argue with him. If he doesn't want you in, you're not going in. <laughs> if your name's not on the list. Wow, 
That is impressive. It's on fire, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, look at the deception, but the accuracy from the back of the court as well. I think he got that. I think he did get that. It was scrappy, but... And I would do one. The ball was not up. Let's have another look here. One. Yep. My eyesight's still in, intact. Well, we just saw the end of that. I heard the strings and I saw the ball go in the nick. Here we go. Great control. This game started off where the last one left. Short rallies. I mean, it's all, all winners at the front of the court. Great to see him play that. Four We've one. seen that twice now, haven't we? Want some Josh, you want some Todd. You want to play the ball. Well, I think in... Um, yeah, absolutely right. In that situation, it, you just got to play the ball. And now it's 2 4. <coughs> Didn't really move for that one, Steve. I'm Are you a little concerned by his movement? Maybe? I mean, maybe if he, d if he does it again, but it uh, might have just been um, three just four. saving himself a little bit. We were mentioning earlier that he's a very laid back character, but you know, he just looks like a Sunday knock at Ponty, doesn't it, at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that he's not focused. Well, it is Sunday. <laughs> but yeah, he's, uh, yeah he's, he's very laid back. Um, and out 5 3. An easy mess, really, for Six, three. for Joshi. A rare error. We've not really seen many errors, considering there's been so much play in front of the court. Yeah, it's a good response from Todd in the second game. That's a great thing about him, really. One of the great things he uh, he doesn't panic. Someone so young, and often you get in junior squash, young players getting overstressed. Down. Another good rally from Todd there. Bit more Seven patient this three. game, waiting for his opportunities. It's something that um, Malcolm Wilstrop, his his coach, uh, since he started, uh, instills in all his players really, just to stay relaxed and and not panic and be persistent in your in your style of game playing very accurate and taking it in when you have opportunities easier said than done <laughs> it sounds easy doesn't it five seven see him just bouncing there trying to get his legs going rather late to be bouncing around to receive serve Well, I've been impressed with uh, Joshy this week. Of course, he's Six, come through seven. as uh, actually three, four seed, and uh, a couple of upsets. He's he's very persistent, and that's uh, take that quite and dynamic eight, uh, to say the least. It's full on straight into the nick from Sam Todd. That's a clever shot as well. It's actually. Nine, He's six. actually fanned that with some severe power. Beautiful length. Spot on, wasn't it? Second and bounce in the mid from Joshi is still uh, still hanging in there in this in this second. Being dangerous. That was an important point, really, for Todd. In line. Such is the nature of this game. You don't really know which way it's going to go next. Flurry of winners in one direction or the other. Could easily uh, see this be one all or two nil. Yeah, you couldn't really afford that uh, that error, to be honest. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. In line. Slightly fortunate there, Parky. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I think there was contact, and um, 
you could tell there was contact, but I was a bit worried for him because I've seen no lets given. I mean, he got there and the ball's on the wall. Big points now. Nine all. I have to say, um, Joshy doesn't look tired at all, does he, from his week? It's well straightened from Todd. Yeah, that has to be a stroke. The ball came very close to the body of Joshy there, do you agree? I always have a degree of sympathy here because Todd's gone completely the wrong way. If Todd goes the right way, it's on his forehand and Joshy's not in the way. So Joshy's supposed to be a mind reader and know that Todd's going to play that ball on the backhand side when it's on the forehand side. Yeah, but the ball was too close to his body, I felt. It wasn't wide enough. And uh, I think that Todd had adjusted in time to, to play a backhand. But one game ball in this in this second for Todd. That's a good call. Good honest call there from Sam Todd. And it means that Josh has got this into a tie break now. Another chance to potentially go two love up, which would be very difficult for Sam Todd. Well, it's not often you see the come on and fist pump from Sam Todd, but he knows how important this point is now. One game ball in the second game. Tie break. It's not quite oh, he's, has he got it? He had a chance <laughs> there, didn't he? Had a couple of chances. Should have had him that. Oh, that is exemplary from Joshy. He's got, he's got good hands. You don't really give him enough credit for that. Well, he's matching Todd shot for shot, isn't he? He is. I mean, he just seems, obviously, he's got tenacity because he keeps winning in five, but that was wonderful. Wow. And again, nice soft hands at the front of the court on that forehand drop. Difficult times, challenging times for Sam Todd. just got the right width and it was low as well that was the important thing he got a good line but it was also low just just beyond the stretched racket of Joshi he'd left himself exposed if had he managed to get a racket on there Joshi well all. he's got to get the width Sam Todd Oh, that's uh, music to the ears for Sam Todd hearing that ball going to the tin. Game ball. Another game ball here. He's gone for it. Reverse angle there, Sam Todd. Perhaps should have played a straight drop instead of a trickle boast. Wow. Well... He's just got to, he's got to straighten up, Sam. He's playing the wrong game here. Joshy is quick, and, and he's matching Sam old. shot for shot. Sam needs to build the rallies here, and he, he's <laughs> getting involved in a bit of a shot fest. He's not used to being. He's not used to being matched in this department, I don't think. Yeah, that's true. Uh, used to ha he's, he's used to having it all his own way, isn't he? Really, most of the time in these uh, in this age group. Another example there. He's got open court. He's just slammed it into the tin. Why go short there? This complete head-off moment. Yeah, Joshy. Uh, it's very, very persistent. It's tough. He's uh, he's resilient, and he has good good skill. Grab. Look good at first sight. And out 14 all. It's 
Let's have another look here, Steve. Yeah, got it. Great pickup. So 14 all, but Joshy can't reach that one. Another game 14, ball. Game ball. For Sam Todd. What a massive game this is. Sam Todd desperate to convert here. That's a great block in the back of the court. Really made Joshy move. Oh, wow, what a finish. That is calm under pressure, and there's a fist pump there from Sam Todd, quite rightly. Look at this. I mean, that was perfection. And the young man from Ponty. There's no lack of bravery there, is there? And it's one game apiece now. As Sam Todd takes that crucial second game, 16 14 in 12 minutes. It's one game all after 20 minutes. Fifteen seconds. On court, please. Take your seats quickly, please. Play's about to start. One all games. Touch serve. Level. Well, some fantastic play there from Todd to get it back to one all. I can't help feeling slightly lucky playing some shots when they went up, so can't really say luck, but. Unnecessary risks, maybe, it's from time to time. be interesting to see if he can change the way he's playing here or he's going to continue to make a bit of a shot fest. I said uh, at the start of the match that he's got a great ability to show three or four different corners. Well, at the moment, it's almost unnecessary because he's just taking it into the front all the time. Yeah, as, I, as I've said a couple of times in the uh, commentary on matches during the week with with Sam I think um, he's he's got all the he's got all the the armory really and the weapons in terms of short game there's an example and the holding just fantastic delay really for someone so young but um, I just sometimes it'd be good for him to I think like I thought that ball was going to go up but just Four, fire on to the the ball early and play a quick drop shot doesn't need any delay use his height and he's six foot two now just really stretch onto the ball and take it early down joshy not really recovered from the loss of that second game Five, love. he'd made very few errors up till this point Yeah, this is impressive from, from Sam Todd. After winning that crucial second, he's he's the one that's coming out with the momentum and the positive play. Sorry, guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen in the audience, please do not use the stairs in the middle of the game. It's disruptive to the players and disrespectful. Thank you very much. Play on. Six love. That got a round of applause on the squash TV 
room. <laughs> well, it's all going the way of Todd at the moment. turn around and you can see Todd being I mean he's not had to do too much but he's being a little bit more patient in this game he is and his, his shot selections uh, been better Down. but Josh also he's been given three points Nine hasn't he low. he's fallen off a cliff edge hasn't he Joshy really has it's just clear that the uh, the loss of the second game has really hit him hard Another one, that must be five or six at least. Ten love, game ball. It's actually quite hard to hit that many tins, really. But uh, Sam Todd. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Sam Todd with a chance Down. of uh, a bagel. Well, it Another is a bagel. One. Uh, he won't be too worried about the fact that it's 11-0, uh, just the fact that he's won the game. And uh, it's a massive, massive come down for Neil Joshi. So Sam Todd takes the third game very easily. 11 love, five minutes. He leads by two games to one. Ladies and gentlemen, could I just ask you if you would keep the stairs clear, please, um, during the games and, uh, and in between, please. Thank you very much. change of shirt can it lead to a change of fortunes for Neil oh no. Joshi that's um, what is that 13 straight points he's lost there you go and first point for, for it's got to be uh, a good almost 10 minutes you'd say as if he came off it massively physically is it it was just a whole mental come down for Joshi and again no, you think he would chase that down in the first first or second games he definitely would have done yeah, he was charging around he was charging after everything in the first Joshi and that's what he's been like all week Quite get down to that. Nearly made it. And his challenge is you feel like he needs to go for some of these shots which are maybe a fraction out of his comfort zone, like that boast there. 
And now he can't afford just to rally, he'll get picked off. So he has to play right on his edge. Have you seen he can do that? Great kill on the volley off the side wall, Three getting it low and tight. Look at this timing. Yeah, Joshi managed to beat uh, Azar Rap. in the semi final in five. Azar was the, the guy that uh, Sam Todd beat three. two years ago in the British Under 13 Open final. Sam Todd's first win in this event. Makes that look Five, so easy. Three. Yeah, it seemed like he had uh, had forever to play that ball. And you can learn many things from watching four, Sam Todd, five. but just the relaxedness in his in his arm enables him to play those super soft shots into the front. Great control. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, there's not many. Not all that many pros that Rap. could uh, that say they're as relaxed as this on the court. And now it's six, four. Out. So that's uh, Seven, a little bit four. cheap, really, but Sam Todd won't be complaining. Crucial rallies now. Needs to dig deep, Neil Joshi. Great shot. Showing the straight ball and then whipping seven. it across court. Well, that's the kind of shot that could be effective uh, regularly against, against Todd. It's just hard to execute. Six, seven. Todd just losing a little bit of accuracy, uh, trying to be deceptive on that drop. Dangerous now for Sam Todd. For it to go to two all, been for a right battle. No lead. And he has, he's called his way back into this. Beautiful sound on the strings there, and just eight, carving seven. that ball into the front right nick. It's nice when you've got that uh, that kind of winner in your back pocket. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Eight, seven. Down. No idea. Just perhaps let that ball eight, drop a little oh. bit low on that volley. Taking it across from the backhand to the forehand side, paying Nine dividends. Eight. Didn't win, but it set up the opportunity. It wasn't the greatest of shots, really. But uh, it was the initial shot from Todd that set him up. Should have volleyed that. Out. Should have volleyed that. Went from a position of strength and to losing. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. And he's paid for it dearly. And another point for Todd edging closer to potentially the trophy. That's good anticipation from Todd. Big chance here. Lovely hold. Great get. Down. Ooh, it's the right shot. Absolutely the right shot for Sam Todd to play. Just clipping the top of the tin and it's given Joshi a game ball now. One game now ball to potentially level this ball. match. Uh, 
That re requires a really good serve here, either at the body or into the side wall from Joshi. Close to the side down. wall, that was down. Can't believe that. And now ten all. A player must win by two Worked so hard for these points to play so well. Well, a stroke of luck for, for Todd. He's in the tie break now. He'll w be really keen to, to finish this off in four games. Great finish there, I like that. Fairly risk free. 11 10, match ball. One match ball for Sam Todd to emulate Jonah Bryant today. This is good nice. determination from Joshi. He's not going away easily, as we've seen all week. He is, uh, he is a player to watch, Joshi. Absolutely. Certainly not to be taken lightly. Another decent serve into the side wall there. Really went for that one, just going as low as possible on that back inside. He very rarely game misses ball. those, but he's hit the tin, so it's another game ball for Joshi in this fourth. It's a bit high there from Sam Todd. He's got it. Oh, this is getting very edgy. Oh, he's missed it. Missed it. Rally. Again, I think on uh, similar to a volley that Todd missed earlier, he let it drop a little bit low. The shoes, so then it's hard as control on the volley. Neither player ball. wanting to back off, are they? They're, they're both counter dropping and flicking, crying out for it to lift to the back from time to time, reset the rally. But they, no, none of these guys are wanting to do that. Yeah, just somebody just to sort of tidy up a little bit in the rally. But. Pressure is taking its toll in this tie break. That's good tidying from Todd. Both players an anticipating really well. And there's a fist pump. As Todd was there for that final, final shot. Executing the forehand going, drop Just really well. Yeah, it shoots out there, Simon, wasn't it? It, it is. Ball. Another chance for Todd here. He's done it. He has. He's done it with a perfect Three drive on the forehand side. Perfectly Three paced. Three Weighted one. stroke. Down the, down the right hand wall, second bounce into the nick at the back of the court. Wonderful effort from Neil Joshi, not just in this final, but during the whole event. Here's the final point again timing from Todd. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we just see on. And there's the joy at the end of this match, fully deserved for the young man from Ponte. I'm just going to have a quick interview with the boys under 15 winner Sam Todd. How do you feel? Uh, very happy. Yeah, it was a tough match and uh, I had to dig in hard, yeah. Have you got any uh, words for your supporters that come down? I think we're in great numbers today. What? Your supporters that have come down to see you. Oh yeah, I'd like to thank everyone. Everyone out there it means a lot, yeah. Thank you. And then finally, for your uh, opponent, Neil Joshi, have you got any words for him? Uh, well, he's a great player. He had a hard match yesterday, overcoming the two seed, and uh, it was a good match and I enjoyed it and uh, well played. Brilliant, you go away and enjoy your win. Ladies and gentlemen, the boys under 15, Dunlop British Junior Open Champion, Samuel Todd. And a round of applause please for our worthy contestant, Neil Jossie. So Sam Todd, 
takes this match 8 11, 16 14, 11 love, 14 12 in 38 minutes. He's the British Open Boys Under 15 champion.